have our ladybug done. So now we're going to be creating a birdhouse. This is part five. We're going to start with a light green rectangle. And the color for that one is going to be 163, 165, and 16. And then a dark green circle. So on this one, we want to make sure we get off our edge there. And then we're going to go create a dark green circle. You have to hold that down, get your ellipses tool. If you hold on your shift key, it'll make it where it's all the same size. And for that one, it's going to be 114, 108, and uh, 1. And then we're going to add a roof. So we're going to do the polygon tool. So we're going to hold that down. Polygon tool, you click. You're going to make it three. And on that one, it's going to be 141, 139, and then zero. the roof in place and then all we need to do now is create a long rectangle pole and the color on that one is going to be 112 50 and 33 So I'm going to click on that one and do arrange in the back. Okay. There we go. And then now for part six, we're going to draw a bird. I'm going to take the eyedropper tool and match for the fence. And then I'm going to take the convert to anchor point tool, which is And then we have this new shape here. We're going to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Twist. Angle is going to be 100. And then I'm going to go to Object, Expand Appearance. And then it's saying to use the direct selection tool, so the white one here. And then I can move things around um, to make it how I want it, to make it more rounded. This is where the artistic side comes in, whether you're good at this or not. Um, I'm not the best at it.
So that's kind of up to you how much you want to move it around. However it works out for you, you can make it happen. Um, I can also delete anchor points if I want to try to smooth it out. So I'm zooming in and out and doing um, control plus and minus, by the way. My eye color. Let's see. It's going to be 20, 48, and 47. Again, I can hold down my shift key so that that stays all kind of the same. I'm not going to worry about how cute my bird is because I'm showing you guys just how to do the basics of this. I'm going to give this bird some longer legs. The coloring on that one's going to be 238, So we have two there. And then we're going to create an ellipses. Do the create anchor point. There we go. And then we're going to take the direct selection tool and move this up. Whoops. So we have the semblance of a wing. little bird and then we're going to size this sucker down and if you want to keep it all together let's see. I'm going to 
go ahead and group it. Put it up here and then do arrange, send it back, set this back behind. And grouping is easier with some of this, just to select it all. I can group to keep it all together. Okay. So if you happen to do the cute cactus last year, um, this is going to look really familiar to you. Um, most of you guys aren't going to have it, but just to show you how it's done, um, we're going to create a plant. Let's see. It's part eight. We're going to take the rectangle tool, size it out. The coloring on it is going to be 112, 50, 33. And then you're going to go to effect, warp, bulge, do vertical, and then do the bend's going to be zero, and then zero, zero, and then this one's negative 15. We're going to grab a, another little triangle or a rectangle put over it. There we go. Then we're going to create a leaf by doing an ellipses. And I'm going to match it to this one. As you see, it's a duality one. Um, so I'm going to match it to this to start off because they didn't put a color. Um, but I can tell that it matches. It's either going to match this or it's going to match that. So whichever one you want to do. Um, there we go. I'll just match that one. And then I'm going to get the line segment tool, draw it exactly down the middle. Hold on. Skip the step. Sorry. Um, I'm going to convert my anchor points. Boop. And boop. And then go directly down the middle with that. And then um, go to Pathfinder. Let's see. I go to Window Pathfinder. Let's And I'm going to go to divide. So what it doesn't tell you directly though, um, go to Pathfinder tool that you have to have these selected and then do divide. And see then it's gonna create that for you. And on this side, I'm going to click and let's do 141. Oops. There we go. Did on the wrong thing. There we go. 141, 139, and 0. See, that does match up here. So now we have our leaf. See, 
matches that. Okay. So then I'm going to copy paste. And then let me go over here to our arc tool. I'm not the greatest at the arc tool, but let's see. One twenty four, one one eight, and one. And you have to keep it on your stroke and not on your fill. Then you can get bigger. Um, copy and paste that. Arrange this and send it to the back. Group those. There we go. And then do arrange in the back. Okay. Awesome. So then that is parts four through eight.